Hey guys, so today I'm really excited to be trying out this Philippine set of coffee beans from Blue Bottle. Uh, this is part of their Horizon series of avant-garde coffees with a resurgence of Philippine coffee, as you guys can see on the box. And I think these are really special and I really wanted to make a video of these today, obviously because one, I'm Filipino. So anytime I see beans, coffee beans from the Philippines, it excites me, one, because they're super rare in today's world. Um, I'm not sure if a lot of you guys know, but most of the coffee you've ever drank in your life comes from two different kinds of coffee bean breeds. One of them being Robusta and the second one being Arabica. I can guarantee you, unless you're a super, super coffee nerd, you have not tried anything outside of that. Every store sells mostly Robusta and Arabica, um, but there's like 3,000 breeds of coffee beans in the world, so it's kind of crazy to know that we only talk or we only drink two types of coffee beans. Um, the ones from the Philippines are really special because they are a breed called Liberica, and they were like super popular like a hundred years ago, but for some weird reason they just became less popular, maybe because the other beans got popular and the whole world kind of just followed that trend. But like the box says, there is a resurgence of coffee beans from the Philippines that some specialty shops are doing and I'm really happy to see that Blue Bottle is taking that on and reintroducing coffee beans from the Philippines to the world. So for me this is super important and super special. I actually missed the first time that they sold these. Um, they sold out pretty quickly but they just recently restocked so as soon as I saw it I had to buy it but all in all Super excited to try these out. Um, again, these beans are quote unquote rare and you don't see too many people having these. I've only had Philippine coffee beans once before this and this cool shop in London called Kapihan. And I'm all the way in New York, so that just goes to show you how hard it is to purchase and find Liberica breed beans from the Philippines. So yeah, today we're gonna make a quick little ice latte and see how they taste, but I'm really excited to try these out. So yeah, we're gonna do a regular double shot. So let's start with 18 grams. Cool, 18.1. And let's grind our beans. So let's put our beans in the hopper. And note, I did this is my first grind on these beans, so we'll see if the grind uh, fineness is good enough. Right now, I have it at about one. That's usually what I do, but as you guys know, each bean is a little different. And again, this is the first time I've done or grinded this bean before, so let's see if it's good enough for an espresso. It looks pretty good. It looks like the consistency that we want. Um, so we'll mix it up and tamp our shot. First, we'll use our WDT tool as always and break up any clumps that we have. I like to be really thorough with this part. I think it makes a huge difference. a little bit even. Uh, knock it just so you don't make a mess. Looks pretty good. And we use this tool to just spin and flatten it out and distribute the coffee grinds as evenly as possible across the portafilter. Pretty good. and tamp it. Cool. That's pretty good. So yeah, the, the point here is to try to get 35 grams of coffee within 25 seconds. So that is ideal, but let's see where it goes. And this is 
predicated on the way that we grinded it. So hopefully our first try is good. Looks like it's going at a pretty good pace. And we'll stop right when it hits about 35. A little bit over is fine. It came out a little quick, so maybe next time I'll make the finest a little bit smaller. Uh, but I think for our first try, it was pretty good. Okay, so since we're just gonna make an iced latte today, no latte art, but um, since we did the shot straight into the cup, I'll just put some ice into the cup. Cool. All right guys, let's see how it tastes. Really good, really good. Um, I think the tasting notes that we talked about earlier come through really subtly, but overall really, really delicious. Uh, I think I'm just happy to try out beans from the Philippines. I've done it a couple times before, but like we said earlier, these beans are really rare and are having a resurgence. And anytime I get a chance to try these out, I'm gonna try them out. And I think Blue Bottle did a really good job. So I'll continue to try these. I'll make another video of the other bag. And then thanks for watching guys.